everywhere. Hello, we are back with the Isle of Bathroom. So in this episode, we will be finishing our bathroom. We're going to be getting to finishing our outlet move, 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 removal. And then we are going to get to the wainscoting, get all that cut out, and it's that whole mess that's under the sink that takes forever. <laughs> and then um, perhaps we might even get to the chair rail. So we've got quite a bit of sanding to do in here on this uh, outlet. It kind of didn't turn out great, but oh well, that's why we sand and can redo it. You can also see, see how the tape is not fully stuck. I didn't get enough up under it. So I'm going to sand this down and then we're going to coat it again. get a good mud pattern. We're doing the wainscoting now, and of course, nothing's ever perfectly level, so um, I've lined this up against the bottom, and then took measurements, and had a little more than a half an inch that I had to trim off the edge, and I had to trim off the edge. You can see wide and gets narrower, so that it would fit properly into the spot. You can see now that fits pretty well. That's enough that caulk will hide anything. So we'll just continue around. I've got to get, get my nail gun. I need to find where the studs are next. So that's my next thing is to figure out where studs are. There's a light switch. I know there's a stud either here or here. So wherever this stud is, we'll probably be 16 inches on center the rest of the way until we get to the corner. Then I'll have to do it all over again until I get to that corner. All right, let's do the knock test. There's one. I had this little bitty drill bit. So I'm just going to put it here where it's going to be hidden. No stud there. Yep. So now I'm going to find either side of it. That missed it. That still hit it. That still hit it. That missed it. So we're here to here on the stud. And now we can measure our 16 inches on center from there. And just to confirm, <clears throat> yep. So we came over, we've got stud in all these points, and then no stud, no stud, well, edge of the stud, stud, stud. So this is about my center point. 
So now I have several marks. I know where studs are at. I know how far away they are. And just to double check, I'm gonna do the same here. Ooh, nothing there. Must be in the corner. How is there no stud there? There we are. There's the stud. Now let's put the wainscoting in place and nail it. So just a cheap Harbor Freight brad nailer, some inch and three quarter brads, way longer than I need. The compressor may be on a little too high of pressure. We're going to see after the first nail goes in it to see what, um, if the head sinks in too far or not. Of course I didn't bring my lines up high enough. Um, was that not my line? Yeah, that was not my line. This was my line. You shot it all the way through. Need to turn the pressure down some. All right, so I turned the pressure down to about 75 PSI, and we will see how she does. Still pretty deep. But that's holding. All right, and these, these over here aren't gonna hold it. They're just going in, basically in drywall. All right, we got that piece mounted in, straightened it out, and we've trimmed this one. Let's see if it'll fit. Trimmed it perhaps a touch large. It seems to fit okay. Okay, so where are my studs? make life easier for this section of weight here I'm gonna start on the back I find my studs there first Unfortunately, that leaves us with no stud for the left side of this panel. And to keep it good and against the wall, we're going to put caulk in all these joints and then there's the chair rail that goes above. So it'll stay, even though you might think it's not going to. We did not want to glue it against the wall. 
Oh, we need a hair trimmed. So now we need to do the behind the toilet and the sink. Toilet's not too hard. We've got one little cutout there. But the sink, we have a lot of cutouts. We also have this panel that came from Home Depot with a water stain already in it. So we're going to use that side as the top to go here. I'm going to start the panels over there first and come this way because each panel is about two foot. So two foot to about here. And then it'll be about two foot to here. So it'll be easier to cut some of that out when it lands on the edge. I may have to make a cardboard template or something for that since it's kind of complicated, but we're going to start over here first. I've got that all cut. Should be identical on both sides for the most part. The placement of that might be a touch different, but uh, of, of the placement of this, maybe just a touch different on that one, but it's pretty close. So now I'll be able to cut out the panels. So I have the pattern cut out. Bring it in, and it's kind of tight there, so I'm going to have to trim it. Yeah. It's, you see it's floating a little bit, and you see I need to trim the top right here, about a saw blades width, and you notice here it's not going over quite enough, that's about a quarter inch. So I have to take another about a quarter inch off around this edge. So I'm going to do that and be back. And I am just freehand cutting this with the jigsaw. So you can see, we are just about there. Still not quite over far enough. But if you notice right there, I need to trim out just a touch there. And I think then it'll fit just fine. Maybe a hair right there too. Fit. Got it. I can close. 
close that gap up. Everything works. See, trimmed that out. Just use my Zacta to do that. This is easy enough. Fits nicely all the way around. We'll caulk that. It'll be done. You notice that little divide, that's not going to be a big deal. It'll be hidden by the chair rail. We're making another piece of the Wayne's coating that goes around the sink, the vanity. And so this just about fits. I've just got to trim a hair off of this and then the vanity has a little bit of a curve to the bowl so this is a low spot and over here are the high spots um, about an eighth of an inch on each side and then I need to trim about another quarter inch beyond that off but I'm not going to do that all at once I'm going to do a piece at a time to try and make sure I get a good shape so I'm moving this fence over Make an approximation of the shape. Bad thing about this lanes coating is it chips really bad. We can just put a little wood filler in there. It's going to get caulked up against the edge anyway, so it won't matter. pretty well you notice it's a little bit higher here and that was done on purpose to try to make sure I can get it low enough that it contacted the baseboard so I've got to trim a little bit more off and also notice I don't need to go quite so high on this side this side or a pretty good line through this side we're just going to trace it with the pencil along the base to fix that angle up that should get us a little bit better representation. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see if we're down low enough yet. We have about eighth more to take off. And again, we've got a little bit more that needs to be taken off over here. So, things don't happen perfectly. We have to do repeated cuts to get something that close. Unless you're really, really good. So, I just cut this piece of um, the cardboard that we used for this side out of the bigger piece. Just to make sure that it lines up well on this side, which it does, fortunately. And it even lines up pretty well with the holes for the water and the drain uh, with a little bit of edges I'm gonna have to modify but that's not a big deal all right tape that on and we'll go from there okay so I've got this cardboard in pretty well you can see it lines up with the holes nicely and it's lined up with the side of the sink so now i'm just a little bit concerned about where this lines up with the edge of this board here so what i'm going to do is just force my thumb against it really hard the sharp edge should give me a line let's take a look yep that created a line I can follow that and I've now cut the cardboard out you can see the edge lines up nicely with the edge of this board all the way up where I cut it so I've gone and traced the dimensions I've also double checked the height from there's two lines here this first one was where I drew it first but I didn't have enough height on the panel so I moved it up three quarters of an inch to give myself a little bit of playroom move this cut and then this line here is my width. We're going to go cut it and then we'll come see how it fits. The panel's cut out. 
Let's fit numero uno. Well, all right, now we got the shapes all cut in. Um, of course, a little smaller than they need to be so that you can trim and get a closer fit. And looks like on this, it's gonna have to come down some. can't even get over. That needs to come down and yeah. I think I need to kind of split this difference. Just freehand draw a line to follow and I'll cut on the inside of the line. fit in there perfectly. I'm going to make a little piece to fit in here. So I've just got a little piece of cardboard I'm going to use to make a template out of here. I want to cut this angle first so it'll go in. So we will trace this outside. All right, a little bit of a rough trace. And then I'm going to cut that out. See that fits pretty good. Now I just gotta mark the lines here. I'll press it in to try to get where the curve ends down here. All right, let's see how it fits. Oh well, yeah, that fits really good. It's right down the bottom right there so all I got to do now is get this upper line well, this lower line move just a touch all right so just put a rough line there we're gonna trim that see how it fits yep fits good now we can make the lanes cutting piece and note the lines where they're at so this shouldn't have lines in the middle of the piece I make. Okay, so here's a scrap piece of wing coating I have. I'm gonna line this edge up with that line a little bit. Just trace this out. Okay, so because I don't have a scroll saw or anything like that, I've just taken my jigsaw Turn the blade around backwards, which this handle lets me do. And I'm going to turn the thing on full blast and push the button in so it stays running. Then I'll put it in my vise, clamp it down, and use it as a table saw. How's that? Well, I got to cut it a little bit deeper uh, there. This um, needs to go for a little bit further in. So I'm just going to trim this circle about an eighth of an inch. Then I'll move this to the left about an eighth of an inch. Won't really be noticeable. Should be okay. Go do a test bit on that real quick. Gotta go a little bit further. Let's go see how it fits.
little bit of excess on this edge. Let me just see if I can use a knife, knife blade to trim it a little. Wife's doing laundry. Shouldn't you tell her to help me? I mean, I am doing this bathroom for her, right? Right here. I'm going to get this one plated too. Bingo. What do you think? Lines are even pretty close. Now we have this wall to do. So the outtake is like, okay, so on our next episode, so on our next episode, we're going to be finishing up that wings coating. Get it all put up. And then um, maybe we'll still have time to get to the chair right